Honeybee apes mellifera are fantastic insects. One of their superpowers that I like most is something called thermoregulation. Among social insects, honeybees are especially adept to precisely maintain the temperature inside the nest. Maintaining a consistent hive temperature is crucial to the health and survival of the colony, particularly with respect to developing larvae and pupae. I'm Umberto Bon Cristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. Although brood rearing can potentially occur at ambient temperatures ranging from 0 to 40 Celsius degree, the temperature range within the brood comb must be maintained between 32 and 36 Celsius degree for proper brood development. Adult worker bees in a hive can perform several behaviors that can either increase or decrease the temperature inside the nest. Individuals will cluster or station themselves on brood comb, where they generate heat via shivering if the nest temperature is too low. However, if the in-hive temperature gets too hot, a combination of two processes are applied. One, Workers can fan hot air out of the nest and two, they can spread collected water on comb surfaces to cool down the nest. Colonies must also be able to survive more extreme temperatures during winter and summer in certain parts of the world. Given these factors, thermoregulation in honeybees has likely experienced significant selection pressure and play an essential factor in maintaining the health of a honeybee colony. Thermoregulation capability is limited though. That's why honeybees in nature choose very carefully where they want to live. They prefer small nest cavities with small entrances and thick wood walls. All these factors combined increase their chances to survive in nature. With the advance of beekeeping practices, we brought bees from tree holes into wood boxes and now we transport them to different places to reach the best honey crops available and also to help to pollinate the food that we eat. These are called Manage honey beehives. Manage honey beehives have normally bigger internal space, thinner wood walls, and larger entrances compared with nests found in tree holes in nature. These differences limited manage honey beehives to isolate themselves from the environment they are surrounded by. For you to have an idea about the proportion of the difference, in April of 2018, Dr. Tom Seeley and collaborators measured the temperature fluctuation inside a tree hole and a wood boxes with the same physical features, without the bees in it. It amazed me when I saw the data showing that on a hot day, when the temperature reached 35 Celsius degrees outside, inside the wood box the temperature was about the same, just a couple degrees less. However, in the tree holes, the temperature didn't reach 10 Celsius degree. The isolation power of a tree hole is substantially different compared with managed honey beehives. A new study published in Nature Sustainability to gain a more complete picture of the temperature fluctuation within managed honey beehives recorded temperature throughout the brood nest during extreme heat in August in El Centro, California. I talked to the authors in another video and you can find the link to that video in the description below. This is the graphic representation of the experiment. They measured three different honeybee hives putting temperature sensors between each of the frames of these hives for a period of 24 hours. On the y-axis you can see the temperature and on the x-axis you can see the time. Blue represents the ambient temperature measured outside on the bottom of the hive. The temperature inside the hives are represented from light yellow to dark red, where darker the red, the more external the frame will be. 
and the lighter the yellow, the more centered the frame will be. As I mentioned before, the ideal temperature for a honeybee hive is between 32 and 36 Celsius degree, which is the ideal temperature to raise offspring without problems. In this experiment, the ambient temperatures measured in the shade beneath each hive in El Centro, California reach up to 45 Celsius degree, which is around 113 Fahrenheit. Frames closer to the thin wood walls of the managed honeybee hives surpasses 40 Celsius degree, 104 Fahrenheit, in all three hives tested from 2 to 5 hours. Moreover, two hives have reached 45 Celsius degree for hours on their outermost frames. And even more surprising, in two hives, temperature exceeds 38 Celsius degree, which is two degrees higher than the ideal temperature inside the hive, even in one or two frames closer to the core of the hive, where the brood is. The take-home message here is that in managed honeybee hives, the colony's ability to thermoregulate begins to break down in extreme heat, making them vulnerable to temperature stress. Temperature influences virtually every single task in a honeybee colony. The wrong temperature can affect the development of new bees, the immune system, honey production, and also pollination. The world is changing and temperature is something that we beekeepers should be paying attention more to. With the data that I show you here, it is clear that the equipment that we use today is not perfect and demand an extra work from the beekeeper. New technologies are coming to help, however, it doesn't mean that we as beekeepers cannot do something right now to help the bees. If you're a beekeeper, depending on the size of your operation, it might not be a huge extra effort to move your hives to a shade area in case the temperatures start to get crazy. Bees pollinate one-third of the food that we eat, and our well-being is strongly correlated with the well-being of honeybees. Our job as beekeepers is to provide the best conditions for the bees to thrive with the minimal interference, which makes me think. Are we doing a good job?